To begin using the UC Waste Accumulation Storage Tracking electronically or waste, go to ehs.ucop.edu slash waste. Then click on Login in the upper right hand corner. Select your campus from the drop down menu and then click on Next. When prompted, enter your UC NetID and password to log in. As a responsible person or principal investigator, you can add locations to your laboratory or facility. This must be done before generating a tag or a label for waste pickup. To add a location in the system, click on the Administration tab. Then, click on the Waste Generators tab. When you get here, click on the green Edit icon next to your lab or facility name. Under the Preferred Location section, begin by entering your building name. As you begin entering the first three letters, the system will provide a list of buildings with your matching information. Click on your building name to select it. Then, choose a room from the drop-down menu. Here, you can also provide more information by entering a location within the room. When you're ready, click on the Add button and the location will be added to your list of preferred locations. Okay. As a responsible person or principal investigator, you can add users to your laboratory or facility. Please note that only users with a valid UC NetID and password will be able to use the system. To add a user, click on the Administration tab. Under the People tab, click on New User. When you get here, enter the person's name. Then, enter a valid UC email address. Remember that the system will only allow users with a valid UC NetID. Thus, it's important that you enter their UC email address. Next, select the role that you would like the individual to have. A proxy can perform the functions of a supervisor or principal investigator, including adding users or locations, while an authorized user only has the ability to create tags or labels within an existing location. If you're not sure, select Authorized User. You can always change someone's role at a later date. Select a facility where you'd like to assign this person to. When you're ready, click on the Save button and the individual will be added to your... A tag is the label that's affixed to a container before you begin generating waste. Authorized users can create tags for their assigned laboratory or facility. Before creating a tag, the location of your specific building and room must first be added by a responsible person or principal investigator. To create a tag, click on the Tags tab. Next, click on New Tag. Select the type of waste you're generating, the laboratory or facility, and the storage location of the building and room you're working in. Then, select whether your waste is a solid, liquid, or gas under physical state. Then choose your container type, identifying whether it's a bag, bottle, box, carboy, cylinder, drum, can, pail, or sharps container. Depending on the physical state of your waste, you will be provided with a list of container sizes to choose from. In this section, you must enter the amount and type of waste you can expect to generate for the container you've chosen. Next, enter the chemical constituents involved in your waste. Remember to enter the full chemical name, as abbreviations are not acceptable. Then, select the amount that the container will hold that given chemical. When you're ready, click on the Add icon and your material will appear in the list of chemical constituents. Make sure to add up the amount so that the total equals 100%. Then, select the appropriate hazard class. For more information about hazard classes, refer to the safety data sheet for your chemicals. Please note that if you're working with a controlled substance, then the words controlled substance must be added to the comments section. When you're ready, click on save and print. From here, you can choose to either save the label or open it for printing. Verify that all the information is correct, print the tab, and then affix it to the container immediately. Pay particular attention to the chemical name and the hazard class. This label also identifies the date when the waste must be given to EHNS. You can always return back to the system to modify the tag and then reprint it if necessary. Please note that once you click on Save, you cannot later delete the tag. It can only be modified or deleted by the EHNS administrator at your campus. For more information, contact Environmental Health and Safety or email erm at ucop.edu for assistance. 
Once you click on Save, you will be returned to the Tag section, where you can view your label under the Containers and Accumulation Areas section. When a container is full, you can use this section to schedule a pickup. To do this, locate the appropriate tag, then click on the arrow icon to add it to the Containers Ready for Pickup section. When you move containers out of the accumulation area, it will then notify EHS that it needs to be picked up. Please note that your waste will not be picked up unless it is listed in the section here.